While watching the online lectures, be sure to use the attached packet to take notes on. You'll find the link for the packet here at the title page for each chapter. Click on it, then print out the packet. These gray boxes in the online lectures refer to the slides and pages in the packet. In this online lecture, we're going to discuss the halogenation of benzene rings. And our key points here are number one, we're going to see that halogenation follows the general mechanism for electrophilic aromatic substitution. This general mechanism was learned in a previous online lecture. We're also going to see number two here that the pre-step for bromination and chlorination involves a reaction between a Lewis acid and a Lewis base. The pre-electrophile acts as a Lewis base and the electrophile maker is going to act as a Lewis acid. So let's see how this works. Let's look at our overall reaction first. Notice right here Br2 is playing the role as the pre-electrophile. The FeBr3 is playing the role as the electrophile maker. And the Br is playing the role as the electrophile. And like we learned before in the previous online lecture, all of these reactions start out with a pre-step. And the pre-step involves these two species right here, our Br2 and our FeBr3. What happens here is the electrons on one of the BRs donates to the Fe metal. In the process, that creates a new bond between the BR and the Fe. It also creates a positive formal charge on the BR and a negative formal charge on the Fe. So notice what's happening here. This BR that's donating his electrons, which originally has no formal charge, is now taking on a positive formal charge. That's basically turning him into an electrophile. This is why Br2 is playing the role as the pre-electrophile and the FeBr3 is the electrophile maker. Simply, FeBr3 is turning our Br2 into a full-fledged electrophile. So now that we have our electrophile, now we can participate in electrophilic aromatic substitution. Let's take this molecule now and react it with benzene. The first step is like we saw before, the electrons in the benzene ring attack the electrophile. And in this case, this is the Br that would be attacked, which means the electrons between the Brs would do this. Notice that electron movement is facilitated by that positive charge on the Br. The positive, of course, is attracting those electrons up on top of him. That gives us this structure right here. We get this member plus the two resonance structures. Then we have the second step of our mechanism here. Remember, a base comes along and abstracts this hydrogen right here. These electrons fall down between these two carbons. We reform the double bond and we get our product. Notice we have a Br connected to the benzene ring instead of the hydrogen. This is halogenation. And notice it follows our general mechanism. But let's go back to the pre-step here. I want to point something out. Notice, remember, your Br2 is acting as a Lewis base, and your electrophile maker here is acting as a Lewis acid. Remember, Lewis bases, by definition, are electron donors, and that's exactly what Br is doing, donating his electrons. And Lewis acids, by definition, are electron acceptors, and sure enough, that Fe is accepting the electrons. So there it is, our overall reaction for halogenation. And this is, of course, more specifically bromination of a benzene ring. But you can also add chlorine to a benzene ring. And these would be the particular reagents. You would have this as your pre-electrophile, the Cl2, and the FeCl3 as your electrophile maker. And of course, the halogen Cl will be the electrophile. And just to be sure here, the pre-step is identical to what we saw before. The electrons on one of the halogens donates to the Fe here, and we end up with this as a result. Notice again, we're turning our halogen from neutral into a positive formal charged halogen. And again, notice the roles here. The halogens are playing the role as a Lewis base, and FeCl3 is playing the role as the Lewis acid. And the mechanism, of course, would also be identical in terms of adding this product that we get here to the benzene ring. And in the process, we would get the overall reaction here. A Cl would replace one of the hydrogens on benzene. However, just in case your organic chemistry test goes this way here, let's make sure we know how to make these electrophile makers here. 
Well, let's look at this here. It's very simple. All you do is take two FEs with three BR2s and you make two Fe Br 3s The same could be said about making the electrophile maker for the chlorination reaction. Again, two Fe's with three Cl2s will make your FeCl3. So this is simply the reactions that prepare our electrophile makers in this reaction. However, there's one more halogenation reaction we should look at here. This is how to add an iodine to your benzene ring. Notice the reagents are different here. In this case, I2 is your pre-electrophile, and these two things right here, water and H2SO4, are your electrophile makers. And of course, the iodine is the electrophile. So with this being a little bit different here, let's take a look at the pre-step for this reaction. Here we take the I2 and react it with the electrophile makers. And what we get as a product is this right here, two I pluses. Notice this is definitely playing the role as the pre-electrophile. This is the electrophile maker. And we've made the I2 into a full-fledged electrophile with a positive formal charge. Mechanism here is not so important and is typically beyond the scope of an organic chemistry course. So with our full-fledged electrophile then, remember, we're simply going to react him with benzene. And the first step under electrophilic aromatic substitution will be the double bond electrons. Grab this I. We end up with this right here as a result, plus the two other resonance structures. Then simply we add the base, who abstracts this hydrogen right here, regenerates the double bond here, so we're back to aromaticity, and this is our product. So that's how we put an iodine onto a benzene ring. Well, what are our key points then? What we saw here was that halogenation follows the general mechanism for electrophilic aromatic substitution. And two, we saw the pre-step for bromination and chlorination involves a reaction between a Lewis acid and a Lewis base. The pre-electrophile acts as a Lewis base, and the electrophile maker acts as a Lewis acid.